Welcome to the latest edition of our CIO Insights. In our previous edition, we explained why we had reduced equity risk in our portfolios in early summer in anticipation of higher volatility in autumn. The flash correction in early August, triggered by an unwinding of carry trades and concerns regarding the US economy, showed that our more defensive and balanced strategy was appropriate. We continue to expect global economic growth to slow down in the coming quarters. As a result, inflation is likely to moderate further and global central banks will have more room to cut interest rates. We expect several rate cuts in the US, in Europe and also in Switzerland. In the US, the Federal Reserve is finally ready to cut rates at its September meeting. As long as the Fed is able to lower rates due to falling inflation, this is very positive. Should the Fed have to cut rates more aggressively due to recession risks, this would lead to higher volatility and corrections in the financial markets. In our base case, we expect a soft landing of the US economy, but acknowledge that rising downside risks are more likely than upside surprises. Therefore, the outlook for high-quality bonds remains positive. While bonds are likely to trade in a range during a soft landing, they would rally strongly in case of rising recession risks. As central banks are now lowering key interest rates, more capital could find its way back into higher yielding bonds. In the event of a soft landing, credit risk premiums should remain low and high yield bonds in particular should outperform the other bond segments in terms of returns. Within equities, there will be new winners and losers as central banks have embarked on a new rate-cutting cycle. Some of the smaller companies in particular are likely to benefit from falling interest rates as they are often more dependent on external financing. We see an interesting backdrop for stock pickers and expect an outperformance of active investment strategies. Overall, we maintain a broadly neutral positioning in our portfolios. Volatility is likely to remain elevated due to recession worries, which are likely to rise temporarily at this stage of the economic cycle. Also, the US election could lead to more uncertainty in the fourth quarter. As a result, we might see many tactical opportunities in the coming months. Therefore, it is crucial to monitor markets closely and to be ready to adjust portfolio allocations quickly whenever needed. Thank you for your interest in our update and good luck with your investments.